Economic collapse news. The Fed banking system blacks out. All the banks in America, from Bank of America to Chase to Wells Fargo, they all go dark. Ladies and gentlemen, I forecast this in 2016, and people call me nuts that we're about to go in one of the craziest situations happening. And now for months, I've reported where Wells Fargo went down, Capital One has gone down, and it's just funny. I, I think that the Fed and the big elite banks are just testing their systems on how they're going to do it when it goes all black. Okay, when the dollar collapses, when there's a meltdown because of derivatives, because there's a meltdown of government debt, or because there's a meltdown because people don't believe the petrodollar anymore. I don't know what's going to cause the spark. I'm not psychic. But I can look at a patient and know that, hey, they have yellow skin. Hey, they have droops under their eyes. And the same thing is what I forecasted in 2016 saying, hey, the real estate market looks like it's going to be in such a big bubble, it's going to pop, and there looks like there's so many other bubbles out there. Now, I'm not making this up, ladies and gentlemen. I've never heard the Fed checking system freeze, and here's here's what, what it is, because when the top bank checking system has a glitch in it, as they call in Bloomberg or CNN or whatever you want to call it, they try to sugarcoat it, when the main fed system has a glitch in it all the other banks will will fail too like bank of america wells fargo they're not going to be able to work because it all depends on the top the fed and this was this is why bitcoin is so powerful because there's no centralized leader there's there's no um it's never had a glitch like this the old system that we have but I think it's more than the glitch. I think it's more than a software glitch. I think what, what my opinion, our financial advice, I think the bankers are just running different systems to get ready to lock down the system if they have to, if, if the madness gets crazy. Because think about it, they're just giving away one tr trillion dollars to, from the Fed to all the elite bankers. Right? Bank of America or Fargo. We don't even know because they keep it under the table. It could be even going to foreign bankers like the German bank. I can't remember the name right now. But guys, ladies, come on, man. How can the top bank just stop working? And, you know, it, didn't, it wasn't for a couple of seconds because people got on social media complaining that they can't go to their banks. And banks or some of the banks are coming out and notifying their customers that their system is going to be down for a while um, or for a little bit or who knows. And, you know, I was reading an article. I, I don't have it here, but talked about the head banker saying that something about like, well, the system's going to come back on this time. You know, and I thought to myself this time. That was that was one of the words that I remember because I thought to myself, well, th what this guy is hinting is like the next time it might not come on, guys. Um, and this is where we're at. Where, where we're at is massive inflation, which can cause civil unrest. We've seen it in France. We've seen it in so many different countries. What we've seen is banks in India fell. We've seen banks in China fell. And it can be coming to the neighborhood, to you, to your hood, to your zip code. Um, and these, most of these bankers are nationwide, which means that when they go down, millions and millions of people will, will be affected. Uh, and that's crazy because that's what, what did I mean by when I say all suddenly, everything's working perfectly till suddenly it's not working. And we're living in an era where we have impeachments, we have a, live in a where where we have nuclear weapons, we have a war era where we're in wars with so many countries, we're invading so many countries, we have bases in so many countries, we have so much debt from the corporations, from the local, from, from the Fed, um, federal government. We're, we're having the, the, the Central Bank of America print out money like crazy. We have other countries print out money as crazy. We're having ne negative interest rates in EU. We are having the lowest interest rates in the history of America. We're having the lowest history in the history of the history because 
Babylon, if I'm not mistaken, was the very first place that people start doing interest and is over 5,000 years. We're having the lowest interest rate ever, guys. And, you know, the system cannot bear this debt economy where, you know, we inflate, we rob the savers, we rob the people that work through inflation, through taxation, um, and we, we are constantly having war, war and warfare, you know, and our consumption level, our corporations, their only concern is to make a profit, not to take care of their community, not to take care of their workers, not to take care of their customers. The only thing that matters is to get a profit margin, to grow, grow, grow. I mean, how much can you grow? And just look at ourselves. When we have something that grows so much, right? When we have something that grows so much, it's called cancer in our body. And, you know, we have an economic of cancer. We have millions of people homeless. We have bets coming down home from all the wars you put them into and they're committing suicides left and right. We're having mom and mom and dad work all the time. And child care is raising up people's kids. And we're having, you know, people can't even make it and they got to live on credit cards. I mean, to when are we going to be running in this rat race? Um, and that's why I like to work for myself. That's why I like to unplug. That's why I'm not going to put my kid into public school. That's why I didn't vaccinate my kid. Uh, because, you know, after, it's just a, it's, it's just a propaganda. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, man. It's probably history has been all propaganda. You know what I mean? Uh, so we're, we're living in, in an era of brainwashing. Um, people are putting their money into stocks that are you know, like brought to you, there's a lot of home builders, they're totally negative, shitty balance sheets, but uh, their stocks keep going up and up. And I mean, for every dollar they bring in, they got to borrow $5. That, that's not any kind of successful business. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Click the like button. Do me a favor. Click the like button. It takes a lot of work to do these videos and I need your support. Click the like button. Much love. Let me know what you think is going to happen. Do you think that the all hell is going to break loose? Do you think Bitcoin is going to go up? Do you think gold is going to go up? Do you think the dollar is going to go up? What is your thoughts? Much love. Don't take no for an answer and live it. Remember, if you're alive, you're already your dreams. If you live in America, you live the best country ever. If you live in one of these free countries, then there's no reason not to be your dreams. Peace.